It's time for the Quiver River Electric Tribcast pregame. Brought to you by Quiver River Electric Cooperative, a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, online at quiver.com. And good evening, everybody. We're at Flower City Park, Palmyra, Missouri, for district softball tonight. I'm Chuck Branstetter, along with April Fronick, here for Tribcast Softball. It's an exciting time of year, of course. The regular season has been completed. Everybody starts new at 0-0. Zero and zero. The winners keep going. And... The losers go home, so that's plenty of incentive for everybody. We've got a lot to talk about. It's Louisiana tonight in our game playing Mark Twain. We'll be back and talk about it here on the Quiver River Electric Tribcast pregame after this on the peoplestribune.com. Many of us are looking for ways to save energy, but please don't take safety shortcuts. Quiver River Electric Cooperative reminds you to use electricity safely and take it seriously. Never touch a down power line after a storm. Always stay at least 10 feet away. Outdoors, look up for power lines and call 811 before you dig. Indoors, keep appliances away from water and don't overload circuits or use damaged cords. A safety message from Quiver River Electric Cooperative, owned by those we serve. This is Kim Gam, RN, Certified Diabetes Educator and Coordinator of the Pike County Diabetes Counseling Program. Diabetes self-management education is designed to help you understand the disease and learn to manage it. Our nationally recognized program provides quality education and covers all aspects of diabetes management from basic to advanced skills. For more information, contact the Pike County Health Department, Home Health and Hospice at 573-324-2111. The Pike County Health Department, neighbors helping neighbors. Well, we're still catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and when we do get to go, Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually be here. Agent Ramsey Dickerman will be there at 503 West Highway 54 in Vandalia. Online at RamseyDickerman.com. State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. This is the Quiver River Electric Tribcast pregame, brought to you by Quiver River Electric Cooperative, a Touchstone Energy Cooperative, online at quiver.com. Back at Palmyra, beautiful evening for softball, sun shining, nice and cool, not too hot, they'll have a great time out there. Lots of district tournament action going on around. Tribcast will be involved in three this week, uh, Wright City, we got uh, New Haven, and of course here at Palmyra. Had a couple of games already today, and I'm going to let April uh, tell everybody what happened. Yeah, at New Haven, uh, Class 1, District 7, it was the number three seed New Haven uh, eliminating number six seed Wellsville. That score was 16 to 9. Uh, so number two seed Van Farr will take on New Haven tomorrow at 6 o'clock. That game will be featured on TribCast. Um, the game that's going to start here pretty quick is the Silex Community R6 game, and whoever wins that one will get top-seeded Clopton tomorrow at 4 o'clock. So both games will be on TribCast. Uh, and then here at Palmyra in Class 2 District 7 action, it was uh, number 5 seed Palmyra upsetting number 4 seed Clark County. 5-2 to two was that score. Uh, so Palmyra will get uh, top-seeded Highland tomorrow at 4 o'clock. And right now, of course, we're getting ready for uh, the number three seeded Louisiana against six seeded Mark Twain. And the winner of that will get number two seeded Monroe City tomorrow at six o'clock. All right. Thank you very <laughs> much. That gets everybody up to date. And of course, Bowling Green plays tomorrow, top seeded in uh, Class 2, District 6. And that game should be featured on TribCast tomorrow. Looking, uh, looking for a lot of good games this week. Definitely. Absolutely. Definitely. Well, they're at the uh, plate, the coaches and the captains and the umpires. They're all meeting. Let's go ahead and check the Pike County Health Department TribCast starting lineups. We're just a moment away from game time. Check out all the services your Pike County Health Department offers. Stop by their campus behind Walmart and Bowling Green or online at pikecountyhealth.org. All right. For the Mark Twain Tigers, it'll be number three, Mackenzie Lathrum, uh, leading things off. She'll play second base. Number two, Lindsay Bowling. Uh, left fielder will bat second. Batting third and pitching will be number 25, Paige Eddington. Batting fourth, the center fielder, number five, Caitlin Whaley. Number f uh, batting fifth, number 24, Sarah Spoonauer. She'll play right field. Catcher, number 21, Hannah Spoonauer, will play s 
uh, well, bat six, batting seventh, and playing shortstop will be number eight, Mackenzie Ogle. The designated player will bat eighth. That's number 27, Shelby Hayes. And uh, batting ninth, the first baseman, number 14, Olivia Jones. Uh, for Louisiana, it'll be uh, Rayleigh Burst, center fielder, number 13, leading things off. Batting second and playing third will be number six, Kayla Lindsay. Batting third and playing shortstop today will be number 15, Molly Ross, uh, pitching. And batting fourth will be number 16, Maria Gutierrez, ba uh, catcher. And batting fifth will be number two, Samantha Henderson. Uh, batting sixth and playing second base will be number 11, Autumn Castigna. Batting seventh, the first baseman, number 22, Gretchen Caps. Batting eighth, the right fielder, uh, double zero, Caitlin Dow. And batting ninth, the left fielder, number 44, Stephanie Mills. So again, for Louisiana, it'll be Burst, Lindsey, Ross, Gutierrez, Henderson, Castina, Caps, Dow, and Mills. And those are your Pike County Health Department TripCast starting lineups. Check out all the services your Pike County Health Department offers. Stop by their campus behind Walmart and Bowling Green, or you can visit anytime online at PikeCountyHealth.org. Bulldogs are the home team. They will be batting second. Mark Twain will lead off and bat first. Of course, uh, these two teams met last month, and it was a route for the Lady Bulldogs. They won 18-1. to So Mark Twain will be looking for a little bit of a revenge here in this district playoff game. Let's check the uh, defense. For the Bulldogs, it's uh, Kaylee Lindsay at third, Molly Ross at short, Autumn Castigna is the second baseman, Gretchen Caps at first, Sam Henderson catching Maria Gutierrez in the outfield, left to right, Stephanie Mills, Rayleigh Burse, and Caitlin Dow. That's your defense. Now the first pitch brought to you by Lacrosse Lumber Company. Everything you need to start your next building or do-it-yourself project. At a location close to you, Lacrosse Lumber Company getting the job done. Stepping in, Mackenzie Lathrum, the second baseman. She's a left-handed hitter for these Mark Twain Lady Tigers. Gutierrez out on the bump, and here we go with the first pitch from Lacrosse Lumber, and it's a called strike right down the middle. And Gutierrez jumps on top, no balls, and a strike. Pretty pitch. Lathrum steps out of the box. Now she's back in. Henderson gives the sign. Gutierrez brings it home. There's another one on the outside corner for a called strike. It's 0-2 quickly here on the leadoff hitter, Mackenzie Lathrum. Bowling will be next, followed by Eddington for Mark Twain. 0-2 pitch is high. Lady Tigers have struggled with consistency this season. Come in, I think they won, uh, what, two games? Uh -huh. Two games this year. But you never know. In the districts, it's a whole new season. There's a swing and a miss. Henderson drops it, but the throw down to first, and Gretchen Caps makes the put out. A strikeout for Gutierrez for out number one. And Lindsay Bowling will step into the plate, our first right-handed hitter, and she looks down at Kachina Hudson, the coach at third base. Abby Hurley is the assistant down the first baseline. Bowling the left fielder. Little gal swings at the first one, fouls it straight back. Tell you one thing, Gutierrez has come out here throwing strikes. Definitely. I will have, have to make Mr. Camps very happy, the coach here. Definitely. <laughs> the 0 1 pitch, two bowling. That's a little bit high, apparently. It bounces out of the glove of Sam Henderson, evens the count at a ball and a strike. Palmyra has won. Yep. We had a raucous crowd here in the opening game, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were dandies. <laughs> There's a strike called right down the middle. I don't mind saying it was uh, not hard to watch Clark County lose. <laughs> One ball, two strikes. Lindsey Bowling awaits the pitch from Gutierrez, and here it is, and a swing and a miss. Two strikeouts Just in the opening like inning that. for the pitcher. I want to say hi to Mark Fronick. You do? Yeah. Hi, Mark Fronick. He's watching. Well, listening. it's always nice to have the big guy watching you. Well, it makes me feel better when he says that I actually hooked up the equipment right. Hey, <laughs> good deal. <laughs> Eddington pops it straight up in the air. Henderson's under it and makes the catch. So nothing doing for Mark Twain in the first. We head to the bottom of the first here in the districts. 
No score on Tribcast. Are you still looking for a bank that knows you by name, offers convenient hours, and hometown service? Look no further than Community State Bank of Missouri. Hello, this is Deb Olson. Our Pleasant staff is here to welcome you and service all of your banking needs. Stop by our office in Bowling Green or Troy and experience the banking difference. Community State Bank of Missouri, your hometown community bank since 1887. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Serving our area for almost a century and a half, La Crosse Lumber Company has always offered quality building materials and hardware supplies at reasonable prices and still does today. Believing a satisfied customer is a repeat customer, La Crosse Lumber Company features free estimates, free delivery, and blueprint services available too. La Crosse Lumber proudly offers Owens Corning Insulation and the top products in the industry. In Bowling Green, Louisiana, Clarksville, Vandalia, and beyond, or visit now at lacrosselumber.com. Tribcast video brought to you by Shelter Insurance Agent Brent Bramstetter. Shelter Insurance. We are your shield. We are your shelter. Here we go in the bottom of the first inning. Let's set up the defense for the Mark Twain Lady Tigers. In the outfield, left to right, Lindsay Bowling in left. Caitlin Whaley will be in center field. Sarah Spoonhauer is your right fielder. On the infield at third base, Lexi Hummel. Mackenzie Ogle is at short. Mackenzie Lathram is at second. Olivia Jones at first. Hannah Spoonhauer is the catcher, and the pitcher is Paige Eddington. Eddington wears number 25. She's a right-handed pitcher. And she'll be going up against Rayleigh Burse, Kayla Lindsay, and Molly Ross here in the first inning. Coaches today, Bill Camps down at third base. Our buddy Craig Pedersen will be over at uh, first base for the Lady Bulldogs. Left-handed pitcher, Paige Eddington. Now, you know as well as I do, you, you don't see many left-handed no. pitchers here in high school, and uh, so that might be a little bit of a little different look here for the Lady Bulldogs. As we said, these two teams have met previously this year, and it was no problem. Louisiana winning big 18-1. to uh, that was back in the middle of September. I believe that game was featured on TribCast. Was it? Mm-hmm. Yep. It was a rather fast game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it didn't take long for Mark to come back home. Yeah. What are you doing here so early? Exactly. Uh, what are you doing back home so quick, <laughs> man? Uh, that was a three-inning game, hon. Yeah. yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right. And games at Louisiana, you know, they always play it backward where they – the varsity plays the late game, <laughs> and he was home before the sun even went down. Wow. <laughs> that was very odd. <laughs> Addington falls behind the leadoff hitter, Rayleigh Burst here, two balls, no strikes. Left-hander gets a sign from Spoonhauer, brings it home. There's a strike call. And the pitchers have walked and hit a lot of batters this this season. Uh-oh. They're Pitching, pitching has struggled for Mark Here, Twain. Swing at a pop-up. It gets out of play just barely over the fence over there. Mm-hmm. I thought that woman was going to get smacked. She made it clear she wasn't moving. No. <laughs> These people here at Palmyra just really don't want to move much no. at all. Here's a swing and a line drive up the middle. That's going to get down for a hit. The center fielder picks it up, Caitlin Whaley. And to get it back in, a leadoff hit here for Rayleigh Burrs. A good way to start the ball game for the Bulldogs. Kayla Lindsay now, the third baseman digs in. Burrs at first with nobody <laughs> out. Burrs at first. Uh-huh. Swinging a bunt. Ooh, back to beauty. the pitcher. It's picked up, and the throw to first is in time, just what? barely. Oh. Eddington threw her out at first, but boy, that was a close play. Lindsay hustling all the way. The runner advances to second. And she's in scoring position for Molly Ross, the shortstop. Mm. Molly's one of these gals that bang that bat against her back. <laughs> Makes me hurt looking at I it. Know. Uh, you know. There's a swing and a liner to third. Ooh. It's off the glove of the third baseman. And the Bulldogs are going to have runners at first and third with one out. Great hit. That'll be a base hit for Molly Ross. Now Maria Gutierrez, the pitcher, in the cleanup spot for these Lady Bulldogs. 
No score in the ball game if you're just joining us. Class 2, District 7, playoff action here on TribCast from Palmyra this evening. Addington fires, and it's a strike call. The runner steals second base. Now you got two runners in scoring position at second and third with one out. Gutierrez trying to help her own cause. Takes that one high. Evens the count at a ball on the strike. The 1 1 pitch swung and popped up. It's foul behind the plate into the tree. Kind of looks like the People's Tribune tree just a little bit. It does. And it falls out of the tree like a big apple and bangs around on the bleachers two or three times. Again, nobody moved. They <laughs> were just looking straight well, forward. They weren't even looking up. Fi finally, <laughs> the man in the, in the blue shirt was kind enough to pick it up. No reward or anything. Here's a pitch that gets away from the catcher, but. Neither runner can advance as Hannah Spoonhauer jumped out there pretty quick to go get it. The count even up here at two and two. Eddington looking for the strikeout. Gutierrez looking for at least a fly ball. The 2-2 pitch. Swing and there's your fly ball into left field. That's going to fall in for a hit. One run is in. They'll hold the other runner at third as Gutierrez goes on down to second. And it is one to nothing. Bulldogs on three hits here in the opening inning. So one to nothing as Gutierrez gets the RBI and Samantha Henderson with a chance to add to the one nothing lead. Sam, the catcher, batting fifth in this lineup. Eddington, the left-hander, brings it. That's a strike on the inside corner. So Eddington jumps ahead on the count, no balls and a strike. Castigno waits on deck, and then Gretchen caps. Sammy, One out. Sammy's been excellent for Louisiana this season, both behind the plate and at the plate. Yeah, she's quite the athlete. Yes. Her, older, been her older sister was, Chrissy was a good softball player, too. Mm -hmm. We watched Sam play a number of years. This is her senior year, yeah. so it'll be sad to see her Very graduate. Much. Very much. I mean, not sad to see her graduate, but no. you yeah, know what I mean. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> a ball and two strikes. Now it's high, and we have the count even up at 2-2. Two -two. Be weird not to have. I mean, she may still go, but. You always see Doris Henderson at the park. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Here's a swing and a long one into left field, but it hangs up, and the left fielder is over to make the catch. Lindsey Bowling fires it back in. The runner tags at third and scores, and it is two to nothing on the sacrifice fly by Sam Henderson. So she did her job, and she got the run in. Two to nothing, Lady Bulldogs here in the opening inning. Now two outs with a runner at second. And we're going to have a courtesy runner as number 10 will come in, Elise Dewey. And she will run for Gutierrez. There's a swing and it's oh. right back. Hello. How do you do? Good grief. <laughs> Thank goodness for screen, I tell you. Yeah. There ain't no cheap chicken wire there either. Oh, I just... now I that one made me go cross-eyed. I mean, it was coming. <laughs> boom. I mean, really, sir, they're right in front of me here. There's one that gets away, and the runner, Dewey, will go to third base on the wild pitch. So now the runner at third with two out. Two in here for Louisiana in the district opener. They're up two to nothing. Eddington brings her home, and she's nub fouled at the plate. Autumn Castini up there with a one ball, two strike count. Left-handed batter, left-handed pitcher. Here it comes, swing and a pop-up. It's behind short, the shortstop going back. Ooh, and she almost dropped it, but Ogle squeezes it for out number three. Two runs for the Lady Bulldogs. Three hits in the inning, they leave a runner. At the end of one, here in the districts, it's 2-0 Louisiana on TribCast. 
Bowling Green Ready Mix, and Kearns Construction, your high-quality one-two punch to knock out tough building projects. Bowling Green Ready Mix for all your concrete and concrete supplies and the only plant locally owned and operated. And Kearns Construction for new homes, remodeling jobs, repair work, and even snow removal. Just call 324-3433 and let the friendly, knowledgeable staff at Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction Company go to work for you. No matter which Family Health Pharmacies in Bowling Green and Louisiana offer more prescriptions under more insurance plans for less. That should make you feel better. Family Health Pharmacies is there to help you when you're not feeling your best. Great gift ideas and half-price greeting cards, too. Two convenient locations to serve you. Bowling Green Pharmacy and Hearing Aid Center on the Square in Bowling Green and Family Drug, 301 Georgia in Louisiana. Family Health Pharmacies, just what the doctor ordered. The train's coming down the track. <laughs> I hear the train a coming. It's coming around the bend. <laughs> Have you seen the sunshine? Not since you don't Not know when. Not since I don't know when. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be Whaley, Spoonhour and Spoonhour here in the top of the second inning for Mark Twain. That's Caitlin Whaley, Sarah Spoonhour, and then Hannah Spoonhour. Tigers trailing two to nothing, and there's a line drive base hit into center field off the bat of Whaley. Whaley wailed on it. <laughs> Indeed. And lined it into center for the first hit of the game for Mark Twain. Now Sarah Spoonhauer, the right fielder, batting fifth in the lineup. Looks down at Coach Hudson. Uh, see if there's a play on here or not. Bulldog defense straight away. They're playing rather shallow, or rather shallow in uh, the outfield. If she could poke one deep, why, they would run for a little while. The pitch was a ball. It's one ball, no strikes. Whaley at first. There's a swing and a miss on a high pitch way out of the strike zone. So Evens it up at ball. one and one. Sucker for a high ball, perhaps. Do you like those high pitches when you played? No. Nope. You like a low ball? Yep. Swing and a miss. That was down in the zone. Now it's one and two. Hannah Spoonhauer on deck after Sarah does something here in the second. I found I got a better bunt off low pitches. Yeah. The pitch, swing and a foul. That one's whistled over on the right side. Good swing at it. It's hard to believe that there was a time when I was a leadoff batter because I was fast. <laughs> I'd like to have seen them wheels. <laughs> Last I heard, she ran so fast she broke an ankle. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Another foul back by Sarah Spoonhauer. Count holds it one ball, two strikes. Well, the little tornado to my right here, I have no <laughs> doubt, always gave it all. Gave it her all. There's a swing and a pop-up. Samantha Henderson, that's two okay. catches in the game for Henderson as they went straight up in the air. So Sarah Spoonhauer is retired. There's one out for Hannah Spoonhauer, the catcher. Mackenzie Ogle moves on deck. One out in the inning. They haven't put it on the scoreboard yet. Now they have. There's a swing and a foul back right in front of us here at the People's Tribune broadcast booth. Who is our broadcast booth sponsor this year? Uh, you on, know what? I it's on one. Of, it's here. This one. Uh, yes. Shouldn't it? Bowling Green Tractor, isn't yes, it? Yes. Bowling Green Tractor is, broadcast. Mm -hmm. Sorry, this is our first game of the year. I mm -hmm. I've been having some family problems, and I won't get into all that. But uh, we've been out. It's good to be here with you guys. We missed you a little bit. Hope you missed us a little bit. We got a whole lot of softball for you this week. Swing and a foul off to the right. One ball, two strikes. On Hannah Spoonhauer. They're not running to do much running down there at first with Whaley, are no. they? Whaley's. I'm surprised. There's been opportunities. And she's just holding Pat down there. There's a swing and a ground ball into oh. right field. That's a base hit. Will Whaley go to third? No. 
She makes it to second and stops there. And so two are on with one out for Mackenzie Ogle. Ogle number eight. She's the shortstop batting seventh. Going up against Maria Gutierrez here, the pitcher for the Bulldogs. Right-handed batter. Takes one right down the middle, strike one. First and second, one out for Mark Twain. They trail two to nothing here in the top of the second inning. District playoff action on Tribcast from Flowers City Park in Palmyra. Swing and a miss. And quickly, Ogle is behind, no balls, two strikes. If I were Maria, I'd put it right down the middle. I think she's going to hold up no matter what. She has her set up 0-2. Swing and a line drive back Whoa. to the mound. It's caught. Double play. Oh, the oh, runner at no. first base gets back, and the runner at second has got to get back. It was caught by Gutierrez. She fired over to first place. It would have been a first base. Rather, it would have been a double play, yeah. but the first baseman caps couldn't hang on to it. So as it is, a line out for the second out. And now Shelby Hayes will get a chance to do some damage. Shelby's the designated player today. So she does the hitting as Lexi Hummel plays third base as a flex player. Swing and a chopper toward first base. It's foul. And Camps up that one too. But it didn't matter. It was foul. So it's strike one. Still two on, two out. Two to nothing Bulldogs here in the second. Always enjoying hearing the girls from the different schools and their little chants that they do. Mm -hmm. Mark Twain's got one going now. That's a high strike. And it's no balls, two strikes on Hayes. Olivia Jones would be next if Hayes can keep it going. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Gutierrez strikes her out. No runs, a hit. They leave a couple. We're headed to the bottom of the second. It is two to nothing Bulldogs, and this is district softball action from Tribcast on the People's Tribune.com. When you contract with a local company, you're sure to receive friendly professional service, and that's just what you'll get with Orp Construction. A homegrown company, Orp Construction specializes in residential and commercial projects. A state certified septic installer, Orps offers backhoe, skid steer, and excavation services. Call 324 3552 for your next project, and remember, Orps does basements, grading, and much more. Orp Construction in Bowling Green. Celebrating their 20th anniversary, Lynn's Heritage House in Louisiana is proudly family owned and operated. Since 1996, Lynn's Heritage House has offered affordable, home like senior living featuring the independence you want and the services you need. With 24 hour staffing for the peace of mind that help is available when it's needed. You can rest assured that the residents at Lynn's Heritage House lead independent, rewarding lives. Elegant, affordable, assistant living. Lynn's Heritage House, 800 Kelly Lane in Louisiana. The Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon reminds you that tonight's game is not only a competitive contest between these two schools, but it's also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, do your part in keeping our hometown sports a positive experience for everyone. You'll be teaching a positive lesson, and you'll be preserving a proud tradition. A message from the Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon. The choice of a lawyer is an important one and should not be based upon advertisements alone. In the bottom of the second inning, the Lady Bulldogs will send up the seven, eight, and nine batters. Gretchen Caps, Caitlin Dow, and Stephanie Mills. Bulldogs got a couple of runs on three hits in the first inning. And they're going up against Paige Eddington, the left-hander from Mark Twain. Here's the pitch, and it's taken down in the dirt ball, one by Caps. Gretchen, number 22, playing first base. She's just a freshman here on this Bulldog team. There's one way high. Good eye mm -hmm. by Gabs. <laughs> Takes it two balls, no strike. Saw the two extremes of the zone there. Mm. All the way at the bottom, all the way at the top. One right down the middle, Ooh. lined into center field. That's a base hit. Gretchen walked right into that one, stroked it nicely into center field. That is the Bulldogs' fourth hit of the game. 
And it'll bring in Caitlin Dow, the right fielder. Cap's probably not going to steal a base for you, but she swung the bat nicely there. As Dow fouls one off to the right, strike one. Caitlin also just a freshman. Good-looking right-handed hitter. The pitch, swing, and a fly ball to left. Medium depth, left fielder over there, and she makes the catch. That's Lindsay Bowling for out number one. So Dow flies to left, and it'll bring in Stephanie Mills. Mills playing left field today. Well, she's just a freshman. Eddington making her way. She jiggles that ball on her hips, now brings it to the plate. And there's a pitch that's a little high, ball one. Stephanie Mills. Top of the order, and Rayleigh bursts next. 1-0 pitch taken low, just low. Two balls, no strikes. Caps on it first with a leadoff hit. She's there with one out as Mills digs back in. The pitch is low. And it's uh, three balls and a strike. Or pardon me, three balls, no strikes. Eddington doing a little landscaping out there. Gets back up on the rubber. Now looks, gets the sign, and pitches. That's ball four. A four-pitch walk. Puts runners at first and second for Rayleigh Burse. Rayleigh gets the sign down from Bill Capps at the third base coaching box. Smooths out the dirt in the batter's box. Now she's ready for the pitch from Eddington. Here it is. It's low. Ball one. I looked up and I saw a big lead for Capps down there at second base. The pitch. That's low, ball two. Mills at first, caps at second, one out. Burst awaits a 2-0 pitch. Swing and a shot to short. It kind of dies when it gets there. They throw her out at first base. Runners advance to second and third. So, it'll be up to Kayla Lindsay here. Kayla's been hitting well as of late. Actually, Burst beat that at first base. Okay, yeah, well, the base, thought, uh, bases are loaded with one out. I thought she was out, but safe. So, excuse me, another hit. She just beat that with her speed. So, they're loaded with one out. And stroke it into left field. That's a base hit. One run will score. Cap scores. Here comes da or, uh, Mills, rather. She scores. And it's a double for the batter, Kayla Lindsay. It's four to nothing. So they scored two in the first, two in the second. Still only one out. And the Lady Bulldogs are still threatening with uh, second and third here. Molly Ross digs in from the right side. That's outside. Ball one. It seems like I say this about all their batters, but Molly Ross can knock the stitches off the ball, too. Uh-oh. There's a shot to short. Fielded by the shortstop Ogle. Long throw to first. That's an out. Run scores. And it's 5-2. to two. In favor of the Bulldogs. They've plated three on three hits so far here in the second. And the cleanup hitter, Maria Gutierrez, is up. That is the second out, right? Yes. Okay. So the runner at third base is Lindsay. Pitch taken high by Gutierrez for ball one. Lights are on here at the ballpark at Flower City Park.
starting to take effect here before too long. There's a swing and a line drive into left. That's going to get down, and it'll go to the fence. The run scores to make it 6-2 to two and a double for Gutierrez. Lindsay scored easily from third on the double into left center field. That was beautiful. Eddington not fooling anybody here for Louisiana. It's six to nothing. Runner at second base, and the batter will be Samantha Henderson. Sammy had an RBI sack fly, her first at bat. That one's in the dirt, and it gets away from the catcher. It'll be a wild pitch. The runner advances to third base. That's a pinch runner again, Elise Dewey, or courtesy runner. Elise Dewey. One ball, two strikes. Ooh. High. Sammy kind of bent over and Man. took it about head level. <laughs> that was a little scary. 2-0 and oh. with two out. Swing and a foul. Smash past third base. Out in front of that one a little too much. Yeah. That'll make it two balls and a strike. Four runs in the inning. Six to nothing to score. Henderson with a two ball, one strike count. Swings and there's a base hit in the left. That'll score another run. As Dewey, the courtesy runner, crosses the plate. Five runs, five hits in the inning. Now we're going to have another courtesy runner. Olivia Capstick will run for Henderson, the catcher at first base. Capstick, a junior, running at first base. The batter, Autumn Castigna, Castigna the second baseman, left-handed batter. Swings, nubs one toward first, picked up by Jones. She'll tag the runner for the out. And that'll do it for the second inning. But it's another good one for Louisiana. They score five, five hits. And at the end of two, it's now 7 nothing Bulldogs here on the peoplestribune.com. In a season of falling temperatures and rising energy bills, your local Bryant professional stands ready to defend your home's comfort. Because when the temperature falls, Bryant turns up the heat efficiently. Your protectors are Sparks Maintenance Contracting, Heating and Cooling in Bowling Green at 106 Business Highway 61 North, 324-6500, SparksHeatingAndCooling.com. Bryant, whatever it takes. At Pike County Memorial Hospital, we know how important athletics are for your kids. But with an active lifestyle of sports come health risk and safety hazards. As a certified athletic trainer at Pike County Memorial Hospital, I work closely with our primary care physicians, orthopedic doctors, and physical therapists. We can make a difference between safe play and dangerous injuries for your athletes. Working with Louisiana, Bowling Green, and Clapham Schools, our goal is to provide the best possible outcome for your athlete. I'm Ryan Pitzer, certified athletic trainer at Pike County Memorial Hospital. We're at work while your athletes are at play. Proudly serving the area at 201 South Main in Vandalia, Cole Chiropractic Center is proud to support area high school sports action on TripCast. Cole Chiropractic Center invites you to call or stop by if you've suffered a sports injury, work injury, or been involved in any type of auto accident. Dr. Cole at Cole Chiropractic offers gentle chiropractic care, 24-hour emergency services with most insurances accepted. Don't suffer needlessly. Call 594-2663. Cole Chiropractic Center, 201 South Main in Vandalia. Palmyra won the earlier game here this evening, 5-2 to two over Clark County. They'll play top-seeded Highland tomorrow at 4 o'clock. The winner of this one in the Bulldogs' lead 7 to nothing will take on Monroe City in the other semifinal. That'll be tomorrow night at 6 with the winners to meet Saturday at 1 o'clock in the championship. Olivia Jones will lead it off here for the Tigers, and she swings and misses on the first one from Gutierrez. It'll be Jones, and then the top of the order, Lathram and Bowling. Third inning. The pitch, swinging a foul back, and it's quickly 0-2. Mark Twain, only one hit in the game off of 
Gutierrez so far. She has pitched masterfully. There's a strike called, and that's strike three. Out number one here in the third. Top of the order, Mackenzie Lathram. She struck out her first appearance. Left-hander digs in, squares to bunt, runs up on it, takes a ball. One ball, no strikes. Mark Fronick is at New Haven this evening, right? That's right. Silex and Community. As that one is just foul down the, no, it's no. fair down the third baseline, and she's going to end up with a double. Throw comes into second base, but not in time. So a one out double for Lathrop. Silex and Community. The winner of that one will play Clopton at New Haven, Class 1, District 7 tournament action. Second hit of the game for the Tigers, and Lindsey Bowling will step in. They're trying to dent the scoreboard for the first time. The pitch is swung on and missed by Bowling. Lindsey looks down at third, shakes her head yes at uh, Coach Hudson. So they're in agreement, and the 0 1 pitch is swung on and a grounder back to the mound. Throw to first is in time. The runner goes to third base. She's there with two outs, Lathram. And it'll be up to Paige Eddington here if the Tigers are going to dump the scoreboard. She popped it straight up for Sammy Henderson in the first inning. Eddington, number three hitter in the lineup. Brings it home, Gutierrez does, and it is a strike call at the knees. Nice pitch. Runner third, two out. Third inning, 7-0, Louisiana. The pitch, a little high. That'll even it up at a ball and a strike. Gutierrez just a sophomore. Brings it. That's in. Oh, the second baseman gets to it, but a nice play as she gets it over to first base in time. Very nice. Nicely done, and that'll retire the side. The Tigers strand a runner at third base after a hit in the inning, and we're going to the bottom of the third here. District Softball on the People's Tribune.com, 7 nothing Bulldog. If you're in the market for New Holland Farm Equipment, an Exmark mower, or Kinsey Planter, see Bowling Green Tractor today. Bowling Green Tractor is celebrating their completely new state-of-the-art shop and newly remodeled showroom to service all your parts, service, and equipment needs. Call Bowling Green Tractor 324-3337 or stop by and check out the expanded shop. Wishing all our area teams the best of luck this year, Bowling Green Tractor. If you buy electricity from Quiver River Electric Cooperative, you're more than a customer. You're a member, too. What does that mean? It means you have a say in how things run. It means you have equity in Quiver River when there's money left after expenses each year. It means that helping you save electricity is important because we're in this together. It means you have more than safe, reliable energy. You have power. You have people. Quiver River Electric Cooperative, owned by those they serve. C-U-I-V-R-E dot com. We are ready for action here in the bottom of the third inning. It's going to be Cross, number 20, Allie Cross, the senior, she will be uh, pinch hitting here in the top or bottom of the third inning. So Cross takes a strike from Eddington as she gets one right across there for strike one. Pinch hitting for Castania, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a swing and a miss, strike two. Allie Cross. 
Steps out of the box and swings that bat a few times. Now she gets back in, way in front of the plate. There's a number foul. Third base side. Count holds, no balls and two strikes. District softball on TribCast. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast this evening. Eddington winds and fires, and there's a swing and a foul tip back to the screen. So Cross getting a piece of it to stay alive. Hannah Spoonhauer back behind the plate, gives the sign, and Eddington pitches. There's a little pop-up. Shortstop will take it. Soft little pop-up to the shortstop. Ogle put it away, out number one. Uh, I, meant, I meant to say that she was pinch hitting for um, Gretchen Caps. Excuse me, all right. So <laughs> Caps sorry. is out of the ballgame. And I understand Cross plays first base, so she'll move in there and take over at first base. So now Caitlin Dow is the batter. And she takes one that bounces up there in front of the plate. Ball one. Stephanie Mills on deck. Would uh, Miss Dow do her first time up? Uh, she flew out to left field. There's a pop-up. Shortstop moving over behind third. Oh, she dropped it. Oh. That's an error. Our first error of the ball game. Ogle. Look to be in fine shape to catch that one, but she just flat dropped it. <laughs> so, Dow is at first base, and Stephanie Mills will dig in. Stephanie walked, came around to score the fourth uh, run of this game. Pitch is taken outside, ball one. Eddington shakes her head. She wanted that pitch for a strike, but she didn't get it. So it's one and all. Long look. Now the pitch. Swing and a foul off to the right and a good swing on that one. Nice little complex they've got here in Palmyra, you know it? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Just down the road here somewhere, they got a big field with a big P in it, don't they? Mm -hmm. The big P. Lest anyone be confused, that's that's for Palmyra. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to infer that it stands for something else. Here's a little number back to the mound. They'll throw it a second out, and they get the force out. On Miss Dow. So Mills is on at first with two out. And we're back to the top of the order in Rayleigh Burst. This will be Rayleigh's third at bat. Rayleigh has uh, two hits and two runs. Two hits and two runs already, huh? She digs in, waits the first pitch from Eddington. Here it is. That's in the dirt, ball one. A lot of first pitches in the dirt from this pitcher. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's planned that way or what, but mm -hmm. it sure happens a lot. Swing and a line drive up the middle. That's a base hit. Ooh. Runner will have to stop at second. Stephanie Mills almost got forced out. Yeah, she did. Ooh, that was close. So another hit for Burst. And she's three for three. And it'll be... Kayla Lindsay up there. Kayla Lindsay had a sack bunt in the first and a two RBI double in the second. Runners get big leads off the bags as Lindsay took a ball. It's one ball, no strikes. There are two outs. Mm -hmm. Lady Bulldogs scored a couple in the first, got five in the second. So far, none here in the third. A pit, the pitch gets by the catcher, and both runners advance. So now they're at second and third with two out. Spoonhauer couldn't handle that pitch. Two open delivery on the way, swing and a pop-up. This is to the third baseman. And Lexi Hummel 
puts it away for out number three. So no runs for the Bulldogs. They put a couple of runners on base, but can't push anything across. We're headed to the bottom. Pardon me. We're through three full. 7 nothing. Louisiana leads on TripCast. Pike County Home Health can provide skilled home health services for homebound patients of Pike County. I'm Peggy Summers. Our agency offers a team approach with a registered nurse coordinating needed services. Home health services include skilled nursing, home health aid, social services, physical therapy, occupational therapy, speech therapy, and a certified diabetic program. We do dressing changes, IV therapy, monitor medications, do diabetic foot care, and many other services. The Pine County Health Department. Neighbors helping neighbors. Well, we're still catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and when we do get to go, Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually be here. Agent Cindy Blaylock will be there for you. 201 Georgia Street in Louisiana. Online at cindyblaylockagency.com. State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. Hello, this is Mary Millen from Community State Bank of Missouri. Some financial institutions make you go through a lot of red tape to get a loan. At Community State Bank, we try to keep things simple. When you talk with us, you're talking to the people who make decisions. Next time you need a loan for whatever reason, come see us. You'll be glad you did. Community State Bank of Missouri, your hometown community bank since 1887. Equal housing lender. Serving our area for almost a century and a half, La Crosse Lumber Company has always offered quality building materials and hardware supplies at reasonable prices and still does today. Believing a satisfied customer is a repeat customer, La Crosse Lumber Company features free estimates, free delivery, and blueprint services available too. La Crosse Lumber proudly offers Owens Corning insulation and the top products in the industry. In Bowling Green, Louisiana, Clarksville, Vandalia, and beyond, or visit now at lacrosselumber.com. Uh, lots of changes here for the Bulldogs defensively. First and foremost, Molly Ross has taken over pitching for Gutierrez and a swing and a foul on the first one to Caitlin Whaley. Other changes, Caitlin Dow has come in to play shortstop. Gretchen Caps has moved from uh, first base to right field, and Allie Cross is at first base. Gutierrez out of the ballgame. So, again, Dow playing short, Caps in right, Cross is at first, Ross is pitching. It's a one ball, one strike count here in the top of the fourth inning. On Caitlin Whaley. Everybody's up to date. Swing and a smash to second. It's caught. Nice play by Castini out there. She caught that liner just above head level. Hey, Gutierrez finishes the game with uh, three hits, no runs, four strikeouts, no walks. Did a good job. Indeed. Very good job. Big pat on the back to you, Miss Gutierrez. She's their number one. Molly Ross is their number two pitcher, and she went uh, perfect for the season, 9-0. Wow. Game she pitched. Wow. Spoonhauer swung and missed that one. This is Sarah Spoonhauer, the right fielder. And she's behind, no balls, and a strike. Big wind-up and a swing and a miss. And quickly Ross ahead on the count, no balls, two strikes. Henderson gives the sign. Ross pitches. There's a let up and a smash down the left field line. It is fair, and that's going to be at least a double for Spoonhauer. She rounds the bag at second. will hold up as Stephanie Mills gets it back in down in the left field corner area. They've had two like that today. So Sarah Spoonhauer with the fourth Mark Twain hit brings in the catcher Hannah Spoonhauer. Hannah had a single in the second. She's wanting to pop one. Look at that swing. It's lined in the left center field, and it will get down. Goes to the fence. Mark Twain is going to get on the board. It's a double for Hannah Spoonhauer. Oh, now the ball base. gets away from the catcher, and she'll go to third base on the overthrow. Mm -mm. 
So a base hit and an error on the throw in. That enables her to get to third base. That'll be the first Louisiana error of the game. Mm -hmm. Mark Twain has also committed an error. But now Mark Twain down 7-1 to one, has a runner at third base with only one out. And Mackenzie Ogle, the shortstop, will be at the plate. That pitch is taken high for a ball. The first one to Ogle. Molly Ross in relief of Gutierrez brings it. Swing and a foul back. She was right on it. And it goes back behind the screen. One ball, one strike. Hannah Spoonhauer down at third base. Tying the shoestrings. She's looking to motor home here with the run number two for the Tigers if given the chance. Swing and a pop-up. That won't do it. Who wants it? The pitcher, Ross, takes it. Right at the third base line, about 15 feet from home plate. Out number two is recorded. If they're going to get any more runs, it'll be up to Shelby Hayes, the designated player. She struck out in her first plate appearance. Swing and a miss on the first one. That was a power pitch and a pretty good power swing. Pop that mitt of Henderson. You can hear it. Man, there's a swing and a foul off to the right out of play. Bounces off the dugout screen. And it's quickly no balls, two strikes. Hey, want to give a shout out to Mona Brown. Hi, Mona. She's watching on TribCast. Watching her niece. Good news. Sandy Lady Anderson. Bulldogs up. Big. There's a swing and a number foul Ooh. down the right side again. That kind of yeah. had <laughs> a few bees in the handle there, I think. <laughs> hey, I'd say. Mm. That didn't feel too good. Simona's home rooting for the Lady Dogs, is she? That's right. Swing and a miss. Ross struck her out. They score one, have a couple of hits in the inning. To the bottom of the fourth we go. 7-1, Louisiana leads in this district playoff game on TripCast. Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction, your high-quality one-two punch to knock out tough building projects. Bowling Green Ready Mix for all your concrete and concrete supplies and the only plant locally owned and operated. And Kearns Construction for new homes, remodeling jobs, repair work, and even snow removal. Just call 324-3433 and let the friendly, knowledgeable staff at Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction Company go to work for you. No matter which team you're rooting for, Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford hopes all our area teams have a wonderful and successful season. Young Enterprise features A. Key and Kent Feeds, Astro and DeKalb Seeds, RCIS Crop Insurance, fertilizer, chemicals, interstate batteries, and more. Visit online at youngenterprisesinc.com for more information. Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. Family Health Pharmacies in Bowling Green and Louisiana offer more prescriptions under more insurance plans for less. That should make you feel better. Family Health Pharmacies is there to help you when you're not feeling your best. Great gift ideas and half-price greeting cards, too. Two convenient locations to serve you. Bowling Green Pharmacy and Hearing Aid Center on the Square in Bowling Green and Family Drug, 301 Georgia in Louisiana. Family Health Pharmacies, just what the doctor ordered. It is the bottom of the fourth. It'll be Molly Ross to lead things off for the Lady Bulldogs. She'll be followed by, well, I'm not sure who she'll be followed by. Gutierrez was in the number four spot, but she's out. So we'll just wait. Yeah. Three, four, and five here in the fourth for the Bulldogs. Eddington back out in the circle for Mark Twain. And Molly is hit by the pitch. It was a slow pitch. And it caught her, I think, on the knuckles, or elbow maybe. She's holding her elbows. I think it got her on the knuckles. At any rate, she's on base with a leadoff hit by pitch and the batter, Abby Moore, number 23. Her first at-bat is popped up. 
And it is foul. And the third baseman couldn't get to it. So it's strike one on Abby Moore. Abby wants a hit. I, I feel one here for her. Mm -hmm. That's taken low, ball one. One ball, one strike. I have a feeling they're going to have a big inning. Molly Ross down at first. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. French fries are done. <laughs> that's, the, that's the oven timer going off, baby. <laughs> huh? I'm telling you. When you hear a ding on me, it's food related. <laughs> <laughs> the 2 1 pitch. Swing and a ground ball right back to the mound. She's going to go to second base and throws it away. She waited too long. She hesitated. Wanted to go to first. Then she said, I can get her at second. But by the time she did that, then she threw behind the fielder, and both runners are safe. So you might be right. Ross on. Down at second. Moore on at first base. The batter is Henderson. Uh, well, she could put a charge into one here and jack that score in a hurry. There's a strike called. Hey, Sammy has an RBI sack fly in the first, an RBI single in the second. Let's have an RBI triple. That one's taken outside. One ball, one strike. Sun going down here in Palmyra, but it's looking good for the Bulldogs. They're up 7-1 to and threatening here in the fourth. That pitch is high. Ball two. Two balls and a strike. Autumn Castigna waits on deck. Eddington gets her sign from Hannah Spoonhauer, her catcher, now brings it home. Let up. It's high over her head. Ball three. About to load them up. Eddington's got to throw a strike here. To our, they will be loaded. Swing and a pop up, Ooh, and it's right back right here. Catch it. Hey, about 10 feet behind Liv, us. Get that ball. About 10 feet behind Put us. Put it right in there. That was neat. Now it's a full count. Three balls, two strikes. <laughs> Henderson digs back in. She waits the payoff pitch. Swing and a little fly ball to third base. It's caught. Lexi Hummel puts it away for out number two. That is not what no. Sam Henderson was wanting. But you can't win them all. No. The batter is Autumn Castigna. She's flown out and grounded out. So maybe she's due. Two on with one out. The pitch is bunted. She missed it. Strike one. So I guess technically she didn't bunt it since she missed it, but she attempted to bunt it and <laughs> missed it. Autumn looks like she can motor pretty good. There's another bunt attempt. She takes that one outside. Snap throw to second, but Ross is back in plenty of time. Count evens. Here at a ball and a strike on Castigna. They're in at third base. I mean, Hummel is way in at third base. That's taking low ball, too. In fact, by the time the pitch hits the plate, she can't be more than 20 feet from home plate. Two balls and a strike. Let's see if she charges on this one. She does, and it's a number right out in front of the plate. Spoonhauer. Oh, no way. She's safe. She mean, easily. I mean, to tell you, she was jetting down first base, and the bases are loaded. A bunt hit for Castigna loads them up for Molly Cross. Alley Cross. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Alley Cross. Second at bat for Cross. She's grounded out to the pitcher. First Appearance. She took over for Caps at first base last inning. Eddington in a world of trouble here. 
takes one high, ball one. Ross at third, Moore at second base. Henderson down there at first. Pardon me, that's not Henderson, that's Castina at first base. And there's a swing and a foul back by Cross. Well, a grand slam would make it 11 to 1, wouldn't it? True story. That's just a fact. Alley Cross. Swing, and there's a pop up. It's fouled down the third baseline, and it drops. Just a loud strike. At New Haven, Silex is leading after four innings, four to one. Oh, congratulations to the Owls. They're playing Community R6. Mm -hmm. Winner gets Clopton tomorrow night, six <laughs> o'clock. What a treat. Yeah. Here it's one ball, two strikes on cross. Inside. Evens it up at two and two, and a good eye there by Allie Cross. Seven to one is the score if you're just joining us. Bulldogs on top. They scored two in the first, five in the second. And there's a smash in the left field. That's a base hit. One run scores. They're going to stay loaded. Ross will make it eight to one on the base hit. And a good job of hitting there by Cross, Alley Cross. Eight to one, base is still jammed, and it'll be Caitlin Dow at the plate. Dow digs in way up in the batter's box. She's flown out, reached on an error. Swing. Ooh. Got a piece of it. It went off the catcher. And Hannah Spoonhauer looks fine. Looks like she's rubbing her left side of her jaw, though. She must have got hit in the left jaw. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Tell you what, that catching's a tough job. Home plate umpire giving her a little time to shake it off. That rattled her pretty good. Mm -hmm. You know where you're at? Yeah, I'm at Palmyra. Um, we're getting beat. Home plate umpire trying to talk to her. Ah, he's satisfied she's okay. So we're getting ready back to action. Hannah Spoonhauer crouches back behind the plate and looks for another pitch here from Eddington. Takes one high, and she's ready to fire one down to third base, but getting back is Abby Moore, so no throw. One ball, one strike. On Dow, the pitch, swing, and a ground ball to third. It's scooped up. They're going to throw home for the force. She's out for out number two. A good play by the third baseman, Lexi Hummel. Took her time, realized she had to play at the plate, and got the force out. So that's out number two. two and we'll bring in Stephanie Mills. The bases are still loaded with two out now. We're in the bottom of the fourth, and the Bulldogs up 8-1. That pitch bounced up there, and it gets away, and, oh, all they're going to trapped up. Uh -oh. There may be a little trouble here. Runner back to third, runner at second base. She's out. And if that's out, that'll be the third out of the inning, and it is. So the runner from third got back as she tried to score on the pass ball. She had to go back to third, and this runner at Second going to third, though, could not get back to second, and that is the third out of the inning. Mm. So a run here for the Lady Bulldogs. After four, they're up 8-1 on TripCast. When you contract with a local company, you're sure to receive friendly, professional service, and that's just what you'll get with Orp Construction, a homegrown company. Orp Construction specializes in residential and commercial projects. A state-certified septic installer, Orps offers backhoe, skid steer, and excavation services. Call 324-3552 for your next project. And remember, Orps does basements, grading, and much more. Orp Construction in Bowling Green. 
celebrating their 20th anniversary, Lynn's Heritage House in Louisiana is proudly family owned and operated. Since 1996, Lynn's Heritage House has offered affordable, home-like senior living featuring the independence you want and the services you need. With 24-hour staffing for the peace of mind that help is available when it's needed. You can rest assured that the residents at Lynn's Heritage House lead independent, rewarding lives. Elegant, affordable, assistant living. Lynn's Heritage House, 800 Kelly Lane in Louisiana. The Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon reminds you that tonight's game is not only a competitive contest between these two schools, but it's also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, do your part in keeping our hometown sports a positive experience for everyone. You'll be teaching a positive lesson, and you'll be preserving a proud tradition. A message from the Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon. The choice of a lawyer is an important one and should not be based upon advertisements alone. We are in the fifth inning here at the district playoffs in Palmyra. Class 2, District 7, uh, Bulldogs on top, 8-1 to one over Mark Twain. New second baseman, Cat Waltman is into the ballgame, replacing Castina. And leading off for Mark Twain, number 14, Olivia Jones, the first baseman. Takes a pitch from Molly Ross, outside for ball one. Ross's second inning of work as she took over for Maria Gutierrez, who pitched a nice ball game here tonight. There's a swing and a smash to short, and it's caught by Caitlin Dow. So a line drive out to the shortstop, top of the order, and it'll be Mackenzie Lathrop. Getting late here for Mark Twain. They've just got a few shots left here. There's one to first base. Backhanded. The race to the bag. Safe. Wow. Allie Cross couldn't get there in time. That'll have to go as a hit. And it'll bring in Lindsay Bowling. Struck out, grounded out. Runner at second. First base is running, and the throw is out. In time, I think. Yeah, yeah, she is out. And I think she got knocked out. I think the tag by Dow was put right on her head. Is she going to well, be okay? She's up. Went. Yeah, it's just part of the game. But, I mean, she went in there hard, and the tag was applied mm -hmm. hard, and the out is recorded. They had to make sure that. Dow hung on to the softball, and she did, and then uh, she was punched out. So the runner out attempting to steal. Stephanie nice play. Mills. Stephanie Mills made that play. That was great. All right. Lindsey Bowling still up there at the plate. One ball and no strikes. There's a swing and a ground ball to third. Backhanded nicely by Lindsey. Long throw and dive. Nice. Good defense here by the Bulldogs in the fifth. It's time to stretch with State Farm Insurance agents Cindy Blaylock in Louisiana and Ramsey Dickerman in Vandalia who remind you, you don't have to make a great uh, play to catch discounts up to 40% on your insurance coverage. Call and schedule a discount double check today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Bottom of the fifth, 8-1 Bulldogs on TripCast. In a season of falling temperatures and rising energy bills, your local Bryant professional stands ready to defend your home's comfort. Because when the temperature falls, Bryant turns up the heat efficiently. Your protectors are Sparks Maintenance Contracting, Heating and Cooling in Bowling Green at 106 Business Highway 61 North, 324-6500, SparksHeatingAndCooling.com. Bryant, whatever it takes. 
Pike County Memorial Hospital, we know how important athletics are for your kids. With an active lifestyle of sports comes health risks and safety hazards. I'm Eric Schaefer, certified athletic trainer at PCMH, and I work closely with our primary care physicians, orthopedic doctors, and physical therapists. Working with Clopton Bowling Green and Louisiana schools, we strive to prevent, diagnose, and treat a wide variety of injuries, ranging from sprains and fractures to heat stroke and concussions. In addition to sports coverage, we offer impact testing for head injuries as well as athletic enhancements for those athletes looking to get a step ahead of the competition. Rest assured, we're at work while your athletes are at play. Proudly serving the area at 201 South Main in Vandalia, Cole Chiropractic Center is proud to support area high school sports action on TripCast. Cole Chiropractic Center invites you to call or stop by if you've suffered a sports injury, work injury, or been involved in any type of auto accident. Dr. Cole at Cole Chiropractic offers gentle chiropractic care, 24-hour emergency services with most insurances accepted. Don't suffer needlessly. Call 594-2663. Cole Chiropractic Center, 201 South Main in Vandalia. If you're in the market for New Holland Farm Equipment, an Exmark mower, or Kinsey Planter, see Bowling Green Tractor today. Bowling Green Tractor is celebrating their completely new state-of-the-art shop newly remodeled showroom to service all your parts, service, and equipment needs. Call Bowling Green Tractor 324-3337 or stop by and check out the expanded shop. Wishing all our area teams the best of luck this year, Bowling Green Tractor. Other scores from around district action tonight here in uh, Palmyra. Palmyra beat Clark County 5-2 there in the championship final against the uh, semifinal rather against Highland. Monroe City awaits the winner of this one. That's both tomorrow. New Haven in the Class 1 District 7 uh, district at New Haven defeated Wellsville 16-9. Silex had a lead on Community R6 after four. Bowling Green, who got a first round bye, will play tomorrow, 4.30 p.m. at Wright City in the Class 2 District 6 tournament. And, of course, uh, Van Farr will play tomorrow. They will be taking on New Haven who defeated Wellsville tonight, as we mentioned. So Clopton will play the winner of the Silex Community R6 game. So there you go, all the uh, action right up to date here. Stephanie Mills leads off for the Lady Bulldogs in the fifth. They lead 8-1. to one. Uh, There's a swing and a fly into right, and it's over the second baseman's head for a base hit. Mills leads off with a single here for Louisiana. And it'll bring in Rayleigh Burns. She's had a nice game tonight. Three for three, right? That's right. Two runs scored. So Rayleigh will dig in looking for hit number four. Eddington pitches inside. Gets away from the catcher, and the runner will go down to second base easily without a throw. Mills down to second on the pass ball by Spoonhauer. Now Burst can knock in a run with a hit. That one's in the dirt. Ball two. 2-0. Two oh. Nice evening, isn't it? Perfect weather. Perfect weather. Swing and a miss by Burst. Two balls and a strike. We've been at some of these softball games. It's not been too nice. Yeah. <laughs> cold, wet. I, was saying, I just don't want the rain. I can handle the cold. Some of them have been hot. Here's a fly ball into center. And going over to make the catch is Whaley. And Caitlin Whaley gets it quickly into second base. The runner has to stay there, Stephanie Mills. So no advancement. And it'll bring in Kayla Lindsay with one out. Long look by Eddington now. She brings it, and it's a let up that's way high, ball one. One ball, no strikes. Another pitch from Eddington on the way is bunted. That might be hit number four. They throw to first. Yep. First baseman dropped the ball anyway, but I think she'd have been there. What do you think? 
Yeah. Yeah, hit? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the Brunners are at first and third now as Mills went to third base on the play. And Molly Ross will be at the plate. Molly has a hit. She had an RBI ground out, and she was hit by a pitch and scored a run. <laughs> she scored two runs. Strike. They throw it out of second base on an attempt to steal. It hits go, a runner. Go, 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 go. They're going to score a run as it gets by the infielder. The run does score, and it's 9-1. to one. The other runner over to third base. Can't help but coach. And that's all right. Mills <laughs> with the ninth run of the ball game. Meantime, Lindsay goes to third. And now Coach Hudson out of the dugout. They want to have a meeting in the pitcher circle. And for it's time for the home plate umpire to dust off the plate. Meantime, Molly Ross swinging that bat, hitting herself in the shoulder. Mm. Nine to one here in the bottom of the fifth. Lady Bulldogs get a couple more. Game over, right? Yes, that's right. So that would be okay with me. Right. Quite right. Molly, just smack it out of here. So the meeting is over. And the catcher does not look real happy. I don't know, uh, Spoonhauer. <laughs> she said, what was the purpose of that meeting? I don't agree with any of it. <laughs> Here's a pitch down low to Ross. Uh, one ball, no strikes. Yeah, I thought so. Oh, they it's one and one. Okay. Right. All right. There's a smash. Oh. It is fouled. You just fouled down the third baseline. We'd have seen how fast Monica could run if that had been fair. Mm -hmm. Lindsay back to the bag at third. Ross back to the plate. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. Swing and a fly right back to the catch, uh, pitcher. She's out. Big swing, a little pop. So Eddington retires Ross. And with two out, we have a runner at third base, and Abby Moore will be at the plate. Maybe Abby can get a hold of one, huh? She reached on a fielder's choice. High, ball one. I'd like to see a high majestic. Fly ball to left center <laughs> over the fence. Well, there's a line drive to left. That's going to fall in for a hit and an RBI. How about that? Abby Moore with the RBI to make it 10 to 1 as Lindsay scores. And we're still going at it here in the fifth. Janelle Lindsay will come off the bench and will. Apparently hit for Henderson. Is that right? Now we're going to have a courtesy runner. Abby Moore will come off of first base, and it'll be Olivia Capstick, the courtesy runner at first. All this coming with two out here in the fifth. Another run, and the game's over. So let's see if the Bulldogs can get it done. Janelle Lindsay. She's a junior. Swing and a ground ball, base hit to left. The runner goes to second, will hold up. Two on, two out. The inning continues. And now who's the batter? It's going to be Cat Waltman. Cat's a senior. She just came into the game earlier to play second base. So her first at bat could be an important one. Could be a game winner if she can get an RBI hit. Two gone. Ten to one Bulldogs in the fifth. Trying to end it here on a hit by Waltman. The pitch. She leans back from one up and in. 
It's ball one. Waltman wears number 25. Right-handed hitter chokes up on the bat. The 1-0 pitch outside, ball two. It's 2-0 with Allie Cross on deck. Here it comes. Inside, it's 3-0. Now Eddington about ready to load them up again. Yeah, we were talking about Sammy Henderson being such a good player and her big sister Chrissy. Yeah. Want to say hi to Chrissy Henderson. She's tuned in. Very good. Here's ball four. Waltman draws the walk. The bases are loaded. And now Allie Cross can be the hero. Just a little old hit. A pass ball. A walk. She had an RBI hit last go around. The pitch. Strike on the inside corner. Alley steps out. Swings the bat a couple of times. Squeezes the helmet back on top of her head. Now she's ready to go. The pitch. Swing and a pop-up. That's not going to do it, I don't think. Second it, baseman it, it. is there to make the catch. Mackenzie Lathram squeezes it. Boy, that's the second time Louisiana's left uh, three runners on base. In that zone. They do score a couple here in the fifth. Lead 10-1 to one now as we go to the sixth on TripCast. Many of us are looking for ways to save energy, but please don't take safety shortcuts. Quiver River Electric Cooperative reminds you to use electricity safely and take it seriously. Never touch a down power line after a storm. Always stay at least 10 feet away. Outdoors, look up for power lines and call 811 before you dig. Indoors, keep appliances away from water and don't overload circuits or use damaged courts. A safety message from Quiver River Electric Cooperative, owned by those we serve. This is Kim Gam, RN, Certified Diabetes Educator and Coordinator of the Pike County Diabetes Counseling Program. Diabetes self-management education is designed to help you understand the disease and learn to manage it. Our nationally recognized program provides quality education and covers all aspects of diabetes management from basic to advanced skills. For more information, contact the Pike County Health Department, Home Health and Hospice at 573-324-2111. The Pike County Health Department, neighbors helping neighbors. Well, we're still catching every game, just a lot more from uh, home than here in the stands, huh? Yeah, and when we do get to go, Dad says we got to bring our own peanuts and stuff. Looking for some extra ticket money this season? Let a State Farm agent do a free discount double check that could save you hundreds of dollars on car insurance. We'll always be there for this team, even when we can't actually be here. Agent Ramsey Dickerman will be there at 503 West Highway 54 in Vandalia. Online at RamseyDickerman.com. State Farm is there. Discounts may vary state to state. Here's the first pitch of the inning, and it's a line drive to left from Paige Eddington. She's going to get at least two. Rounds the bag at second, and stops there as the ball comes in from left field. So a leadoff double to start the sixth. And now Caitlin Whaley, the cleanup hitter, is up there. She has a single. She's lined out to second base. Here comes the pitch, and it's a strike at the knees. <laughs> nice pitch there from Molly Ross. Mark Twain fans still rooting. There's a few over there. There's a swing, and a fly ball into left center field. The center fielder over to make the catch. Rayleigh Burst. That's the first out. Runner holds it second. And it'll be Sarah Spoonhauer at the plate. Louisiana with a couple of runs in the first. Five in the second. They got one in the fourth. Two in the fifth. Mark Twain's only run came in the fourth. Swing and a miss by Spoonhauer. Spoonhauer popped up to the catcher, Sammy Henderson. And uh, got a double in the fourth and scored the only run for Mark Twain. The pitch, swing and a foul back. And it's quickly 0-2. And, and 
Sarah Spoonhauer. To be followed by Hannah Spoonhauer, the catcher. The 0-2 pitch from Molly. Swinging another foul back. She was right on it. No balls, two strikes. Spoonhauer back in. The pitch on the way is swung on and another foul. Straight back. Can't quite get her time just right. I think if Molly threw a little change mm -hmm. up right now, it would uh, <laughs> probably really make her look bad. Let's see what happens. Spoonhauer geared up for that quick pitch. There's that change up. And it's a ground ball to first and nobody covering. And mm. did she make it? They called her safe. Oh, come on. No. The uh, That's not right. Field, um, field umpire was over in the shortstop hole, and he had a long way to see that one, but he called her safe. Well, he made the wrong call. So now the Lady Tigers have runners at the corner with one out. And Hannah Spoonhauer at the plate. She has an RBI double. She wants to hit it hard. That's high ball one. And she's two for two today. The 1 0 pitch. Swing and a miss. Actually, the foul tip. And they throw it at third, and that was close. <laughs> they almost got, they almost tagged her out there. Paige Eddington at third base on the shoulder. I thought to me have her. They say she's safe. Well, this umpire doesn't appear to be paying attention. No, that's kind of the opinion I got. Another foul, straight back. Comes right under the rear end of Stephanie Mills. <laughs> One ball, two strikes. One out. Two on. Mark Twain down 10 to 1. We're playing in the sixth. Ross with the pitch. Swing. And over the pitcher's head. Over the second base bag. And everybody's safe. Run scores. That's Eddington and the other runners will be at first and second. You knew when it got past the pitcher it was going to be trouble. Yeah. So it's 10 to 2. As Mark Twain scores here in the sixth. Runners at first and second, still only one out, and the batter will be Mackenzie Ogle. Mark Twain wanting to rally here. Swing and a pop-up. This thing's a mile high. Who wants it? Center fielder, left fielder. Oh, and it oh. falls in. Nobody grabbed it. They throw it to third base for a force out. How about that? Smart play by, was that Lindsay, the left fielder? Yes. Threw it at third for the force out as the ball oh. fell in amongst the three defenders and a heads-up play by the Bulldogs on defense. That's something you don't see every day. Good play. But it had no business falling. No, it had there. no business falling, but they made the best yes. of a bad situation right. there. They really did. Definitely. That one bounces away, and the runners will advance. They're going to be at second and third now with two out. Let's just get out of this inning. Did they put the run on the board? Didn't they score? Yeah, they scored. Uh-huh. Oh, I guess I need to put my Score run on mine, too. Scorekeeper's asleep, I think. It's 10 to 2. There's a swing and a chopper to third. It is fair. The throw to first. That's out. Is in time. And that's three. That's three outs. That'll end the top of the sixth inning. Mark Twain scores a run to make it 10 to 2. This is Tribcast District Softball on the People's Tribune.com. Are you still looking for a bank that knows you by name, offers convenient hours, and hometown service? Look no further than Community State Bank of Missouri. Hello, this is Deb Olson. Our Pleasant staff is here to welcome you and service all of your banking needs. Stop by our office in Bowling Green or Troy and experience the banking difference. Community State Bank of Missouri, 
your hometown community bank since 1887. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Serving our area for almost a century and a half, La Crosse Lumber Company has always offered quality building materials and hardware supplies at reasonable prices and still does today. Believing a satisfied customer is a repeat customer, La Crosse Lumber Company features free estimates, free delivery, and blueprint services available too. La Crosse Lumber proudly offers Owens Corning Insulation and the top products in the industry. In Bowling Green, Louisiana, Clarksville, Vandalia, and beyond, or visit now at lacrosselumber.com. Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction, your high-quality one-two punch to knock out tough building projects. Bowling Green Ready Mix for all your concrete and concrete supplies and the only plant locally owned and operated. And Kearns Construction for new homes, remodeling jobs, repair work, and even snow removal. Just call 324-3433 and let the friendly, knowledgeable staff at Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction Company go to work for you. No matter which team you're rooting for, Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford hopes all our area teams have a wonderful and successful season. Young Enterprise features A. Key and Kent Feeds, Astro and DeKalb Seeds, RCIS Crop Insurance, Fertilizer, Chemicals, Interstate Batteries, and more. Visit online at youngenterprisesinc.com for more information. Young Enterprises Incorporated of New Hartford. All right, Caitlin Dow it will lead it off here for the Lady Bulldogs in the bottom of the sixth inning. Stephanie Mills will follow, and then Rayleigh Burse. Ten to two, Louisiana on top in this district playoff game. And the pitch is taken high and outside from Paige Eddington for ball one. That pitch is outside, and it's two and zero. Oh. Caitlin Dow had a couple of good plays at shortstop. Swinging a foul back into the tree. Wouldn't that be something if a raccoon or something fell out of there? <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it? I mean, seriously. That would be something. That would be awesome. <laughs> Some kind of critter in the tree, you know. <laughs> Caitlin started the night in right field, moved to short. She's had a good game. Swing and a fly ball to right. Beauty. That's going to send Spoonhauer back, and she makes the catch. Pretty good hit. But yep, I thought it was going to. You thought it was going to fall? Yep. But it didn't. So there's one out. No, kind of hung up, up there. Stephanie Mills will check in. She reached. Or no, she scored on here. Excuse me. Uh, she has a hit. Swing and a Whoa. smash up the middle. Boy, she cracked the bat, I think, on that one. Rang it into center field, and she's going to go for two. The throw, too late. It's a double for Stephanie Mills. How about that? You couldn't hit a ball much harder than she did. And then legged it out for a double. That had quite a sound. Rainey Burrs. She's had a good game. Yep, three hits on the game. Flew out to center the last go around. Takes one just inside, ball one. So the runner at second base with one out. Mark Twain will have one last crack at it, unless we can get a couple here. There's one that gets away from the catcher again, and over to third goes Dow. Spoonhauer's had a time had it behind the plate tonight, hasn't he? Home run would end it. The pitch. Swing and a smash into right. That's a base hit. Run scores 11 to 2. Randy Burns with another hit. Her fourth of the game. RBI. And it's 11 to 2. I look for her to steal here. Kayla Lindsay at the plate. Get that runner in the scoring yep, position. I'd put the pressure on. Force him to make the play. But right out in front, the pitcher grabs it, throws. What is it? Oh, call her well, safe. Safe at the first base. <laughs> Another hit for. Uh, I guess it's a make right. <laughs> Lindsay. She was flying down the line. I couldn't see. I had people all in front of me. So the Bulldogs are oh, first and second now with one out. And the batter is Molly Ross. 
She can win it. Swing and a shot to short. That's caught. That's the only play. Both runners back to the bags. Two outs. And it'll bring in Gutierrez, who's coming back in off the bench. Well, there's no doubt Gutierrez started off awfully well. <laughs> she had an RBI double, two RBI doubles. Well. Back to back. A hit here likely would make it a 10-run game and a game for the Bulldogs. Down low, ball one. Paige Eddington has gone the distance here for Mark Twain. She's given up 11 runs so far. As we play with two out in the sixth. Swing and a pop up. Oh, get down, get down. Into right field, it may drop, and it does. Here comes the run, and that should do it. That's the game. Game is over as another run scores, but it doesn't count. 12 to two will be the final. The one run that scored to end the game is the only one that counts. 12 to 2. That's our final score. The Louisiana Lady Bulldogs. Congratulations. They advance. And let's see. They will be playing. Louisiana plays Monroe City. That will be tomorrow evening at 6 p.m. Let's take a break. We'll be back. We'll have a lot more for you on the postgame show next on the People's Tribune.com. Family Health Pharmacies in Bowling Green in Louisiana offer more prescriptions under more insurance plans for less. That should make you feel better. Family Health Pharmacies is there to help you when you're not feeling your best. Great gift ideas and half-price greeting cards, too. Two convenient locations to serve you. Bowling Green Pharmacy and Hearing Aid Center on the Square in Bowling Green and Family Drug 301 Georgia in Louisiana. Family Health Pharmacies, just what the doctor ordered. When you contract with a local company, you're sure to receive friendly, professional service. And that's just what you'll get with Orf Construction. A homegrown company, Orf Construction specializes in residential and commercial projects. A state-certified septic installer, Orf's offers backhoe, skid steer, and excavation services. Call 324-3552 for your next project. And remember, Orf's does basements, grading, and much more. Orf Construction in Bowling Green. Celebrating their 20th anniversary, Lynn's Heritage House in Louisiana is proudly family-owned and operated. Since 1996, Lynn's Heritage House has offered affordable, home-like senior living featuring the independence you want and the services you need. With 24-hour staffing for the peace of mind that help is available when it's needed. You can rest assured that the residents at Lynn's Heritage House lead independent, rewarding lives. Elegant, affordable, assistant living. Lynn's Heritage House, 800 Kelly Lane in Louisiana. The Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon reminds you that tonight's game is not only a competitive contest between these two schools, but it's also an educational experience for the students involved. Because high school activities are about learning life values, do your part in keeping our hometown sports a positive experience for everyone. You'll be teaching a positive lesson, and you'll be preserving a proud tradition. A message from the Law Office of Briscoe and Brandon. The choice of a lawyer is an important one and should not be based upon advertisements alone. In a season of falling temperatures and rising energy bills, your local Bryant professional stands ready to defend your home's comfort. Because when the temperature falls, Bryant turns up the heat efficiently. Your protectors are Sparks Maintenance Contracting, Heating and Cooling in Bowling Green at 106 Business Highway 61 North, 324-6500, SparksHeatingAndCooling.com. Bryant, whatever it takes. At Pike County Memorial Hospital, we know how important athletics are for your kids. But with an active lifestyle of sports come health risks and safety hazards. As a certified athletic trainer at Pike County Memorial Hospital, I work closely with our primary care physicians, orthopedic doctors, and physical therapists. We can make a difference between safe play and dangerous injuries for your athletes. Working with Louisiana, Bowling Green, and Clapping Schools, our goal is to provide the best possible outcome for your athlete. I'm Ryan Pitzer, certified athletic trainer at Pike County Memorial Hospital. We're at work while your athletes are at play. 
Proudly serving the area at 201 South Main in Vandalia, Cole Chiropractic Center is proud to support area high school sports action on TripCast. Cole Chiropractic Center invites you to call or stop by if you've suffered a sports injury, work injury, or been involved in any type of auto accident. Dr. Cole at Cole Chiropractic offers gentle chiropractic care, 24-hour emergency services with most insurances accepted. Don't suffer needlessly. Call 594-2663. Cole Chiropractic Center, 201 South Main in Vandalia. If you're in the market for New Holland Farm Equipment, an Exmark mower, or Kinsey Planter, see Bowling Green Tractor today. Bowling Green Tractor is celebrating their completely new state-of-the-art shop and newly remodeled showroom to service all your parts, service, and equipment needs. Call Bowling Green Tractor 324-3337 or stop by and check out the expanded shop. Wishing all our area teams the best of luck this year, Bowling Green Tractor. If you buy electricity from Quiver River Electric Cooperative, you're more than a customer. You're a member, too. What does that mean? It means you have a say in how things run. It means you have equity in Quiver River when there's money left after expenses each year. It means that helping you save electricity is important because we're in this together. It means you have more than safe, reliable energy. You have power. You have people. Quiver River Electric Cooperative, owned by those they serve. CUIVRE.com. It's time for the Bowling Green Ready Mix Trip Cast Post Game. Brought to you by Bowling Green Ready Mix and Kearns Construction. Your high quality one two punch to knock out building projects. Well, it's uh, good news for Bulldog fans tonight. They scored two in the first, five in the second. They never looked back, only gave up one run. That was in the fourth. End up winning the ball game 12 to 2 as they scored a couple in the sixth to end the ball game in six innings. 12 2, our final score. And I'm going to turn it over to my partner, Miss uh, April Fronick, and she will give us the facts about this game. A good All win right. for the Bulldogs. That's, that's for sure. Uh, Gutierrez pitched a beauty in the first three innings. She uh, had gave up no runs, four hits, and struck out four. Molly Ross came in, gave up two runs on seven hits and struck out one. Uh, neither one of them gave up a walk. Uh, Paige Eddington for Mark Twain, it was uh, 13 runs on 19 hits and walked two. For Louisiana, it was a great day for Gutierrez uh, at the plate also. She had two, two RBI doubles and an RBI singled in the game. So that's uh, five RBIs for her on three hits. And, ev I mean, she was three for three at the plate. Uh, Rayleigh Burst, four for five from the plate with an RBI. Kayla Lindsay was three for five with two RBIs. Sammy Henderson had two RBIs and a hit. Uh, Molly Ross had an RBI and a hit. Uh, Allie Cross had an RBI single. And Stephanie Mills ends the game with two hits. And that's that. All right, big win for the Lady Bulldogs. Let's uh, check tonight's Community State Bank TribCast Player of the Game. Brought to you by Community State Bank in Bowling Green and Troy, serving their neighbors since 1887. Player of the Game tonight, April. Uh, that'd be Gutierrez. Maria. Good job from the sophomore starting pitcher. As she had a big night, Maria Gutierrez. Tonight's Community State Bank TribCast Player of the Game. Brought to you by Community State Bank in Bowling Green and Troy. Online at c-s-b.com. Quickly recapping what happened earlier tonight, uh, Palmyra a win here at their home park over Clark County, 5-2, to two, a mild upset. Palmyra was seeded fifth, Clark County's fourth. Palmyra now plays Highland, the number one seed, tomorrow at four. Monroe City, seeded number two, will take on these Louisiana Lady Bulldogs, seeded number three. Tomorrow evening, that game starts at six. Bowling Green, the Lady Bobcats will be in action tomorrow afternoon at 4.30. They're scheduled to play at Wright City in the Class 2 District 6 tournament. They'll take on the winner of the Lutheran St. Charles Duchesne game. Don't have a score on that one, so we don't know who their opponent is yet, but we'll post that later on the website. Ellsbury will take on the winner of the Wright City Trinity Classic Catholic game in the other semifinal there at Wright City. Meantime, Silex had a lead on Community last. We heard 4-1. to one. Uh, They will play the winner. They will take on Clopton, rather, uh, tomorrow afternoon at 4. And Van Farr is going to take on New Haven. New Haven won uh, over Wellsville 16-9 earlier this evening. Here the Lady Bulldogs win big over Mark Twain and will advance to take on Monroe City 
tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. That's going to wrap it up here on the Bona Green Ready Mix Kearns Construction Tribcast postgame. Thank you all for joining us a lot. We really appreciate it. With April Fronick, I'm Chuck Brastetter. Good night from Palmyra. <laughs>